All right, here's a short video explaining what to do for the projects. For every chapter, they work pretty much the same way. I've had a few people just handing in the project forms and they're skipping the uh, whole project. So what you need to do is you need to click on the project chapter one, chapter two, or whatever it happens to be before you click on the project forms. The forms are really only there to help you organize your data, to help you organize your data. First of all, you click on the project and then you'll be taken to this page where it says, please click here for the project outline. So you want to click on the blue link. And when you click on the blue link, you'll be taken to my uh, project overview, as well as how to get started, as well as the final presentation checklist. Everything on this checklist must be handed in in order to receive full marks. If you're missing a few of these things, you will lose quite a few marks. After the final presentation checklist is an entire description of what you need to do, researching ideas and such, um, and how to make your presentation and what you should think about, um, as well as kind of like your own reflection on your learning, which is also included in, the, in those project forms as well. But you have to make sure you read over this first page at least, and definitely I would look over the rest of it just to get an idea of what you're supposed to do. So. When you're doing the projects, please do not just hand in the project forms. You have to make sure you click on the actual project and download the information that you need to cover. So hopefully that clears things up. Hopefully that makes you um, receive better marks. And let me know if you have any questions.